Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too excuse the state of me but I haven't actually had a shower or anything yet uh, my stepdad kindly took the girls to school for me so I've just put Ellie down for a nap so I'm gonna have a shower and everything once she's asleep but um, for those that don't know unfortunately I am in the middle of an ectopic pregnancy the pregnancy was not planned and it took me a long time to get used to the fact that we were going to have another baby because I suffered from hyperemesis really badly with my last baby and the thought of going through that again just filled me with dread and I just didn't know what the hell to do but I decided to keep the baby and I went for a scan an early scan and unfortunately it was found that the baby was ectopic so last weekend I had the injection to, to miscarry basically so I have to go back for blood tests quite often at the hospital to make sure that the HCG levels are coming down. So I had a blood test the other day and I have to go back again today to see if the HCG levels have got any lower. And I also did a clear blue pregnancy test the other day and it said 2 to 3. So I'm going to do one now and see if it still says 2 to 3 or if it's gone down. Um, but yeah, this week's been pretty rough to be honest and I've had really bad side effects from the injection, sickness, tiredness, exhaustion. My emotions have been all over the place and yeah, it's just not been fun. Pregnant. Now it's just to see how many weeks it's of. Still says two to three weeks. Oh, it makes me sad that it still says two to three and it's ectopic. I should be over eight weeks by now. But yeah. <sighs> yeah, it just really um, makes me sad that it's still saying I'm pregnant. Um, even though I know it's ectopic and I should be like eight weeks now it's just really hard to get your head around I've never 
had a miscarriage or anything before and I wasn't expecting this to be anything of the sort to be honest and even though it did take me a while to get my head around it I did want the baby and the only reason why I ever thought that I couldn't do it was because of the high premises um, and I felt fine, I felt absolutely fine when I was before I knew about the ectopic pregnancy I just had like sore boobs and tiredness I didn't feel sick of anything but now I know why because it wasn't growing in the right place but yeah it just makes me sad to think that it was not in the right place and if it just went a little bit further it would have been okay and instead I'm having to go through all this which is fucking hard I'm feeling a bit more human now I've had a shower straight into my hair and put a little bit of makeup on Ellie is finally down for a nap so I'm just doing a bit of cleaning, washing up, that sort of thing and I rang the hospital for my results of the blood test the other day and my HCG levels have gone down so today hopefully they'll have gone down even more but yeah um, my last few videos like the aquarium and Ellie's birthday and what Ellie got for her birthday what I was buying her and things like that um, I knew I was pregnant during those videos and as you can tell I was really happy but um, yeah these things are sent to triers and it just wasn't meant to be and I'm getting stronger each day at the beginning of the week I was a right mess but yeah I'm okay and um, yeah I'll always remember the little baby but I just think it wasn't meant to be at this time So I've just arrived at the hospital, it is 10 to 2 and I need to pick the kids up at quarter past 3 and I'm about half an hour away from their school. So I hope that they can give me a quick blood test and I'm in and out but this is the maternity hospital that I've had all three of my babies in so it always brings back memories of when I was in labour with them. But yeah, fingers crossed we're going to be out of here soon. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all hospital now what a nightmare <laughs> nothing ever goes smooth with me the other day they just really struggled to try and take some blood from me and today one woman attempted it twice then she got someone else in to have a go she couldn't do it then she had to get the doctor in who managed to get some blood but only took one little pot full and he needed two so he had to jab me again so in total I've just been jabbed five times with a needle in various places of my arms so they could get some blood and hopefully that's the last time I'll have to go for blood but if my HCG levels are still not zero or no if they are still above 15 I need to go for a blood test next week but I'm hoping that oh is that my mother's day card but I'm hoping that um, the levels will be below 15 but I'll keep you informed. I've got to ring up later tonight. And Amy's just given me the Mother's <laughs> Day card. Flip the, flip the, flip the, no, the 
that's a surprise. Flip. Oh, right. Wow. I did it. <laughs> so there's one heart there. And then you flip it. And there's another heart. <laughs> How cool is that? That's very good, Amy. Look inside. Okay, so. It says. To mummy, I love you so much. I wish you a happy Mother's Day. Lots of love from Amy. Oh, how adorable is that? Thank you very much. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Peekaboo. <coughs> Peekaboo. It's dry now, is it? Oh, it's warm. Is it warm? Mm -hmm. Oh. Nathan's catch Catherine's two counts will do that. Flat pitch run down there. Didn't hang around. Rush to get flat for you and hopefully get you some money. Get four again, please. Want me kisses? Want me kisses? Ellie, want me have a kiss? Mm. Oh, you clever girl, aren't you? Kisses? Mm. What a clever girl. Kiss? Yes. Amy kisses? Amy kisses? Ellie! Too busy wanting your pen. Thirty seconds to you. Every time you get a question mark. Wow, well done, Carol. Carol, that's, that's ugly. Hey, mate. Push this bit on. Oh. That's very good. Origami. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. We made that. Yeah. And these. Oh wow. So you don't like mine? Yes, I do. I love them both very much. Thank you. It's like a special card. So, what's happening Sunday then? Um, Are you going, Bingo? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> you look cool, Ellie, don't you? Sophie's bought me some chocolate. My chocolate. Mine. Oh my then, shall we go in the bath? Shall we take you for the bath? Come on then. When I saw you, I would lose control Made me feel like there was no tomorrow Should have told you that you're beautiful But the day's passing now, it's so long ago Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too broken frame and I know that I have no one else to blame Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too
to their dad's for the night. They'll be back on Sunday morning because it's Mother's Day. Ellie's just gone to bed. She'll probably take about 15, 20 minutes to go to sleep. Then I'm going to have a bath once she's asleep and just chill out for a little bit because I've got a headache. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this day in the life today. And please give me a big thumbs up if you liked my video today. And please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.